It is finally here, the first no-code front end for SmartSuite. I'm talking about being able to build a portal where we can actually invite external users, people who do not have access to our SmartSuite accounts and our SmartSuite workspaces, but to invite them to collaborate with us and to experience our custom no-code application that is powered by SmartSuite on the back end. Yes, Easy Portal is now officially live and available for new users. They are out of their initial beta testing. So if checking this out is of interest to you, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth. I'm the owner at Gap Consulting, and it's our mission to help you get organized and automated with no-code tools. SmartSuite is one of our favorite leading no-code tools, and in this video, I can't wait to showcase the new front-end portal for SmartSuite, Easy Portal. But before we get into that, I first want to invite you to join me for some automation training. If you're still newer to no code in general, tools like SmartSuite are going to change your life when you truly understand how to leverage no code automation. I'm going to teach you all the fundamentals of automation in my free automation training. You can sign up at gapconsulting.io slash webinar dash registration. But without further ado, let's hop on into my screen. We're going to be taking a look at SmartSuite and Easy Portal, how they collaborate and work together. And of course, we're going to build something very simple in SmartSuite and then demo it inside of Easy Portal to see just how simple it is to get set up. Go ahead and follow along with me here if you already have SmartSuite and Easy Portal. If not, go ahead and sign up using our affiliate links below and you'll get set up on your free SmartSuite account. Here I am inside of Easy Portal. I don't actually have anything built inside of my Smart Suite for this yet, but we do see that Easy Portal is already starting us out with four common templates. We've got project management, application tracking system, event planning template, and a sales CRM template. Now, when you sign up for Easy Portal, it, it's going to ask you to automatically sync up with your Smart Suite. It's going to look for your user information inside of Smart Suite and already start talking to your Smart Suite account so that we don't have to go in and do that at any other point. Now, for our example, as I mentioned, I don't already have something built inside of Smart Suite, so I'm going to be using one of the templates that's already been built for us here from Easy Portal. I'll just pick this Sales CRM template since Sales CRM seems to be one of the most commonly requested things inside of these tools. Now, just by clicking here, we get an intro to the tool itself. And as some other folks had pointed out in my previous video showcasing the beta for this, this does have a look and feel that is quite similar to Softer, which is a front end portal currently for Airtable and Google Sheets. Well, inside of here on the left hand side, we see we have four different elements here. We have our pages. We can click on here and these are the different pages within our no code application. So we have a home page, which is presumably what we're viewing here. We can switch over to accounts, look at our deals, our contacts, and our interactions. Beyond pages, we can also go into the appearance overall of our application. So in here, we've got a few different categories, the appearance of our typography, the appearance of our buttons as they appear in our web app. So we have the text color and the background color and the roundness. And then lastly, some advanced appearance settings, mostly website width, which is not yet available. You see that this still is one of those pending features. Next, we can go over to users. These are the folks who have access to our application. And then lastly, our settings here. And these are the general settings of the overall application. Again, Easy Portal just went through their beta. They are still a new tool. So you're going to see a lot of these features aren't fully live quite yet. Things like SEO and portal history haven't yet been released, but at least we have a roadmap for what's coming. We can already create a custom domain, manage our data sources, collaborate management. And then of course we have our general portal. So here I've got my general name, my subdomain and a favicon if we want to change that. Lastly, we have the ability to toggle on or off with the Easy Portal branding. So once we're all set with this, let's go back to our pages and just take a quick look at our different pages here. I'm very curious how they actually have the back end of this. At no point yet have we actually created the back end database inside of SmartSuite to collaborate with this front end. 
Remember, Easy Portal is just that front end layer. We still need the back end stuff to talk to our front end. So here we have a page for accounts. And on accounts, we see all these different elements. If I click into this specific block, well, this is going to be showing us where we are connected to our data source. And right now, it looks like we don't yet have a data source built here. So while we have been able to create our entire front end from a template, just with a simple click, it's not actually connected to anything on the back end. So we do need to build this inside of SmartSuite in order to have some real functionality here. So we can go ahead and add a data source. By doing this, it's going to go through the authorization of our SmartSuite account. Let me go ahead and just sign up using my Google clicks. Just a couple clicks here to sync up with SmartSuite and Easy Portal one more time. Once that's set up, I can select my SmartSuite account from my source, and I then need to go in and select my workspace. Now, most of the time, you're only going to have one workspace. I happen to have a few because I collaborate with SmartSuite on a number of different workspaces, but I'm going to select my predominant workspace, and then inside of here, I need to pick my solution. Now, as I mentioned, we don't already have this solution built. Remember, this particular thing was a sales CRM template. So if I were to flip back into SmartSuite and I were to just do a quick search here, I don't expect that I'm going to see a sales CRM. So yes, I do a control F. I'm looking for sales CRM. Nothing like that exists. I was kind of hopeful that maybe the data schema would be automatically built for me, but it's not. So let's take a quick look at Easy Portal in terms of what it's expecting here, and then I can build what I need inside of SmartSuite. So it looks like I'm looking at accounts here. I've got a link to users, I have a number slider, I have a social network, and I have a percent. Let me go ahead and add these elements into a SmartSuite application so that I can get it all synced up here. Oh, of course, I also have a title. I don't want to forget that. Let's go ahead and flip back now into SmartSuite. And I'm just going to go up with a new little solution that I stood up here called Easy Portal. I did not give it a name yet. So I'm going to go ahead and take my first app here and name it Accounts. Now inside of our application, you might recall we had a link to users. So I'm going to assume that we also have a users application, which I will create right here. And inside of our accounts, if I flip back to Easy Portal, I need a title. I've got my link and I need a number slider. Let's go ahead and add these elements here. First, I'm going to hide all of these other fields that already exist here. I'm going to go to Fields to Display, and I'm going to clear it all. Now that that's gone, I'm going to start setting up new things. One of those is going to be a link to users. So let's go ahead and create a linked relationship here. I'm going to link to another record. This is going to be link to users. And I'm going to select my users application here. And I'm building a link that's saying, hey, here's a link from my accounts application over to my users application. And presumably that will be visible inside of my easy portal. We already have my title here. Let's go ahead and add the number slider and the social network icons. So back over here, number slider, let's go ahead and find numbers slider. There we go. And I'll bring in my social media. This is another field type inside of smart suite. I can bring in social media elements. So if I were to have a test record here, let's just call this test record. I could establish a link to users. Now again, users is a link to a different application. So over here, I'd have to create a new user. Let me just give one a name. I'll name it Gareth. Back to accounts. I can link to users now. Let's go ahead and link that record. Come into my number slider. Let's set this to 59%. Over here in social network, I can click in and mine is Gareth Pronovost, and I'll click done here. So you can see I'm filling this information out here for my accounts, and presumably that will be available to us inside of Easy Portal once it's all set up. Now I still need to get my percent and a text just for this example here. So let's bring in a percent field type. This again is just a high level example so that we can see how these different elements filter into our Easy Portal. And let's get that text element here as well. I'm going to use just the text here and I will select a percent, let's say 25%. And here is some sample text and there we go. So I have my first record now inside of my accounts application and I'm going to sync that up here with my easy portal integration. 
So again, I was able to create my whole Easy Portal front end just with a click of the mouse, but now I need to actually integrate this particular front end with the data source that I just built inside of Smart Suite. So let's go ahead and start this process again. By clicking on solution, I'll be able to search for Easy Portal. That was the name of my solution. And then inside of my solution, I had two applications, one for accounts and one for users. So I'm picking my accounts here. And if I want, I can limit the view to a specific view inside of Smart Suite. So why would I want to do this? Well, inside of Smart Suite, maybe I want to apply a filter to a view that says only bring in certain records. Well then, if we applied that filter to a view in Smart Suite, and we then made sure that only that view was available inside of Easy Portal, we would be limiting the amount of information that showed up in our front end application. Now for our example, I don't actually want to filter anything out. I only have the one record anyway, but when I select none, I'm not able to move to the next step. So I'm going to pick grid view here, even though my grid view doesn't have any filters established. But you see that once I made that selection, that is what brought in my actual sample data. Here is the record I just created in Smart Suite. Test record, linked to Gareth, number of 59. Social network is filled in for LinkedIn. Percent of 25, sample text, you get the idea. So I now have the ability to actually view live data here. Now I wanna point out that we can limit the number of items to page here. So we can say how many different records are going to show up here at once. Right now I just have the one record, so it's a non-issue. And you can see that coming soon, we're gonna get the ability to filter content for the logged in user. This is one of those more advanced features that all of the excellent front end portals all have. This is not currently available inside of Easy Portal, but it is coming. Obviously this has big ramifications for how you will use this tool because you'll want to be able to create front end applications that limit accessibility to data based on who is signed in. We don't want everyone to see everything that we store inside of Smart Suite in most cases. So if you're trying to share selective information with your users, make sure to check out Easy Portal after they have released this new updated feature. So here we are right now, if I were to preview my current application on this particular page, I am able to see the actual data that we have right inside of Smart Suite. This is a big step for Smart Suite because this is truly the first front end that is integrating seamlessly with them and allowing us to publish front end applications driven from our Smart Suite data. I have it on good authority that new opportunities for front end applications are in the works. I hear that NoLoco is very close to putting out their integration with Smart Suite, and Softer is currently working on an integration with Smart Suite as well, so I can't wait for these tools to be released in time. But for now, I'm really grateful that we have this opportunity here with Easy Portal. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. If you did, drop any questions you have below, and in the meantime, keep on building.